isolated, especially for our veterans. News Force Joshua Cole is live. Come down! To a veteran who says it's difficult right now, Joshua. Hey there, Tracy. Yeah, the veteran that you're about to meet, he says that being stuck inside his own four walls, that feeling is like being back in battle with the uncertainty and all of the stress that's added. Well, as we get closer to hoping that we could be able to get back outside, experts and mental health professionals say they want you to know there's help out there. It's hard, you know, being stuck, but, uh, we deal with Army veteran Byron served from 1979 to 85. He says the stress of military life came right back with the COVID crisis. And when you go to grocery stores or places like that, you really have to watch yourself because you never know what the next person got. We want our veterans to know that, that there is always someone who they can reach out to. to get Dr. Erica White of Tennessee Valley Healthcare says it's never too late to look for help. The Department of Veterans Affairs suggests getting exercise with a hobby and get enough sleep. Eat well and limit alcohol. And yes, even limit how much news you watch. And keep doctor's appointments. Even try telemedicine on your phone. Many of them feel really grateful just to have someone who they can talk to about the additional stress that they've experienced. Not being able to see my psychiatrist. Uh, you know, talking on the phone, it's, it's okay, but it's uh, just not uh, personal enough. Some of us come back physically, but don't come back mentally. You know, and it can be very hard. So if you do need someone to talk to, there's the Veterans Crisis Line. I want to show you that number right here. That's 1-800-273-8255. And then for veterans, if you need someone to talk to right away, just press 1. Again, this is for veterans and their family members and friends to be able to find a way to connect. Now, Dr. White did tell me that they're at Tennessee Valley Healthcare. They are trying to be very proactive and trying to reach out to veterans that they know of that they can try to help as much as possible. Tracy, Tom. Thank you so much for that information, Joshua.